estimated that in 2050 the tendency will be that there will be more older people, meaning people 60 years and older, than children aged 15. So that means that the growing number of older people from now until then have severe implications for already limited resources. The We Deliver project is led by Professor Vera Roos from the Northwest University. What we hope to achieve with the We Deliver project is to develop information and communication technologies to assist people involved with older people or older people themselves. We just need the information so that we can understand what exactly is happening and how we can assist you. Local government, which is all of our municipalities in the country, for the first time has a developmental role and that role is very extensive. It means that municipalities are first and foremost responsible for service delivery but also for much more, to change the lived experiences of people in the urban and rural contexts. <laughs> There are, um, especially in, in municipalities that operate in semi-urban and more rural areas, there is a general lack of information. As a ward councillor, I do have the ward committees, but we are not enough to cover this all elderly people. Yes, we did it there. Wow, too. Yes, we did it most of our elderly people, they stay in their homes alone. Uh, they are kids. They, they, they went to urban areas. They left them alone. You will normally find elders who cannot really support their families. You'll find elders who will be left with kids uh, where the mothers or the biological parents to those kids are somewhere else looking for work. Many older people are primary caretakers of their children. <laughs> Each and every government department um, basically operates in a silo. In the research that we've conducted, we have seen that there's a lot of duplication of services or lack of services at all. And there's also a lot of duplication across the different spheres of government. And that would mean that there is not a lot of communication between different government departments within the same sphere of government, a provincial government department, for instance. Um, and this obviously makes service delivery seem fragmented. Hey, no, it's not that Hey, what are you doing? 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 I think an ideal government institution for me is an institution that would work well, uh, where we would say the machinery of government is functioning well. For instance, where 
they uh, render services they are responsible for. But there is no integration, communication, cooperation between these spheres of government in holistically trying to identify the needs of older people and addressing those needs in a holistic manner. Why do we want to do this? We've looked around and we've noticed that there is no centralised information for older people to understand what is available in their communities. So often there might be services that are available that they're not aware of, um, which means these services aren't necessarily catering for the needs of the older people, but also people have needs and they're not aware of these services that are available. I think that municipalities play a particularly important role. Community participation or public participation, as we can call it, is so important. And in that way, uh, the voice of the other man in the street can also be heard. So what we hope to achieve with this is creating an awareness of what services are provided, as well as then looking at what services can be facilitated by local government. And I think that the We Deliver project here can specifically address such a need because a lot of our local mun or uh, municipal uh, research is done on the metropolitan municipalities. And because we're doing the research here, specifically in a semi-urban, rural areas, we are able to gather some, I think, very good information and data that will allow municipalities to plan. We also hope to give government an, an idea of the needs of a particular group of people. If we think about an age-friendly environment which can accommodate all the people, that environment will also then be beneficial to people of all ages. 